This week, we head into the fog at Not Scary Farm. Then we head to Legoland for craft beer and a sneak peek at Brick or Treat. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World Village right, right now. now. And welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Quinn. All right, so very special thanks to Theme Park Alchemy. Mm -hmm. They got some awesome candles for us. We're going to try them out. They are theme park related. Yes, you have right there, you have I got shark bait. bait. It's definitely from the Jaws ride, as you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, very cute. All right, here we go. I'm going in. I like it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's musky. It's, but it's musky. Like, it's kind of cinnamony. It's kind of good for the fall, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What which, do you which got? You wouldn't think, I th I'd think more 4th of July for shark, for Jaws, because, yeah. you know, Jaws, the ride was on But it's a little more musky. It's, yeah. Mysterious. It's, it's like, get you in the mood to watch Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. And then banana breath here, I assume it's going to be banana. It's banana. Mm, straight from Kong's mouth, I think. <laughs> These are good. I like them. This kind of gets you, like you said, gets you in the mood mm -hmm. for theme parks. Um, and also, you can use a cute coupon code CONJURE10 at themeparkalchemy.com, 10% off your entire order. So again, thank you, Theme Park Alchemy. I wonder if Kong's breath smells like banana. Like, where, Does he just eat a bunch of little bananas? Like, well, normal-sized bananas, but, you know, little for him. Or does he, like, on Skull Island have, like, some giant banana tree? That's I guess there's only one question. way to find out. Go, go to Skull Island yeah. and ask Kong himself? Yeah. Okay, we, we'll go. Okay, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Planning for the next cheer season at Walt Disney World is just getting started. And Mouse Fan Travel has three deals available for traveling teams in January, February, and April. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. Head to SeaWorld Orlando to experience the new Infinity Falls ride for yourself and save $21 off a single day ticket with Undercover Tourist. For the best theme park ticket deals, visit UndercoverTourist.com. This news in the queue starts with some exciting news for us here at Attractions Magazine. That's right, we recently hit half a million subscriber milestone on our YouTube channel, and we couldn't be more proud of this accomplishment. It's thanks to you, our viewers and readers, as well as the talent of our staff and support of our sponsors. We couldn't have done this without you guys. Now let's get to one million. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share our videos, stories, and original content to help us get there. And next, we head to Disney's Animal Kingdom for an update on some news we shared with you last week. Turns out that Rafiki's Planet Watch will not be closing permanently, as Disney previously reported. The location will still close on October 21st, but is expected to reopen to guests next spring after an extended refurbishment. More updates on this story will be posted to attractionsmagazine.com as they are revealed. I talked to someone a couple days ago about this, and they think that maybe, this is all rumor now, but maybe Disney's just sort of saying this to get people off their back about closing it. And they're not actually going to reopen, like, like with Stitch. Because Stitch's Great Escape is not reopening. Right. You and they think? said that they would. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but I was talking to someone. They said that I was... And I, I did think about it. I thought, uh, that is a good way to get people to not you know, get more mad and it gives them more time to think about what they're actually going to do mm -hmm. if they say that they're going to reopen it, which I hope it does because I will miss going over there and petting those little piggies. Could but. be. Yeah, I just, I can't picture them closing for that long for an extended refurbishment. Like, what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. Who knows? I guess only time will tell, but. I, I hope it's something good. Yeah. I hope something does fill that space and I hope that it is worth the either loss wait. or wait. Yeah, hmm. we'll see. Playing with our heartstrings, Disney, just a little bit. All right, now over to SeaWorld. Infinity Falls is making a big splash at SeaWorld Orlando. The long-awaited water raft attraction is now open after a short, soft opening period. Be sure to tune in next week for a special report on the new ride. 
I'm excited to get over there. I haven't been there yet. Me too. It looks like a lot of fun, an awesome raft ride. I do love water rides when mm -hmm. I'm in the mood for them. Yeah, so. you just have to be prepared. Prepared to get wet. Exactly. And I'm, I know on this one, you will definitely get soaked. Ah, so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> and lastly, we head to Magic Kingdom to say fair sailing to a long running stage show. Captain Jack Sparrow's pirate tutorial held its last performance in Adventureland on September 29th after recruiting kids for the Pirate's Life since 2006. There's no word on what, if anything, will replace the stage show or if guests will be able to see Captain Jack in the parks outside of Mickey's Not So Scary Party Nights. Stay tuned to our website for more updates. I don't think I ever, like, sat there and watched the whole show. Yeah. I know a long time ago I did the, the Pirates League and I did the whole, I was like, you know, when they bring all the kids up there. Yeah. But uh, I don't think that's actually that show, is it? No, this is a separate thing, yeah. I think. And it's crazy how long it's been there, actually, mm -hmm. when you think about it. So, and I love seeing Jack Sparrow out and about. I mm. think his... He looks amazing and always sounds great. So. I love the character. Yeah, great character. Hopefully we'll see him again soon. It's time to play big with the new Fall 2018 issue of Attractions Magazine. Head into Andy's backyard for a look inside the now open Toy Story Land. Learn details about the new Evermore Park, a theme park like no other. Read all about the newest place to stay at Universal Orlando, Aventura Hotel. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at attractionsmagazine.com in print or digital in our app on Nook and Kindle. Knott's Berry Farm is transformed into the annual Knott's Scary Farm, and with it comes new mazes, shows, and more. And our reporter Tiffany is getting a taste of what the event has to offer as we send her into the fog to check it out. I bet she'll be super brave this time. You know, she was super brave at HHN. Oh yeah, she's got this. Over to you, Tiffany. We just arrived to Knott's Berry Farm here in Anaheim, California, but for the Halloween season, it transforms to Knott's Scary Farm. I made it through Halloween Horror Nights for my first time, and I guess attractions dragged me out here to experience my very first Knott's Scary Farm. I've heard it's actually scarier. I don't know, I know there's like not a lot of safe spaces to go, but I feel like I can do maybe two mazes. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it my best, and yeah, let's check it out. Infected maze. Gonna shoot some zombies today. Don't die. We will
singing. I've not seen this. I've heard about it for years. It's supposed to be a parody show, kind of like Bill and Ted at Universal, where they kind of take pop culture's biggest moments, make fun of them, they hang somebody at the end. So I'm excited to see who is going to be on the chopping block tonight. of amazing looking food available during Not Scary Farm. I would love to know what you guys have cooked up special for this year's event. We have done a lot of fun stuff this year. This is actually a churro over the churro factory. It's like a red hot candy. Oh. It's a red hot sugar. This is our Cheetos Asada fries, fire hot Cheetos. So you guys are going like really like spicy. You're we're, kicking it up. We're, we're going ghoulish today, yeah. yes. These are our, our donuts out front in the bakery out front, as well as from Cable Car Kitchen, this is our our funnel cake, a scary funnel cake. I love anything with candy corn on it. I've yeah. got to get one of these. It's the scary candy corn is what it is. Oh, sorry, my bad. Scary candy corn. All the cavities, so scary. <laughs> no, there's none. Uh, these are actually our fun monster burgers over at Ghost Town Grill. It's a fire hot chicken sandwich and a monster burger with spicy sausage. Wow, I love this. What's this? This is like super this is fun. Goblin grub. It mix it up. It's a nice little fun little treat. Walk around. You have everything from now till October 31st? Until October 31st during scary time. Awesome. You guys have plenty of time to come check it out. Everything looks really, really good. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Our night at Not Scary Farm is wrapping up. I was not brave enough to go through any other mazes tonight, but we saw the improv show, we saw the hanging, and we just saw a pretty cool magic show. I used to do magic when I was a kid, so that was pretty fun for me to see. But my friend Hunter made it through the mazes tonight. There was a maze in particular that you told me about called Trick or Treat that yeah. was like in pitch black. Yeah, uh, you would go in, you went into the house and everybody got a flashlight to go in the house. Uh, so you were like leading your own path to try to go through the house. And at different points, the flashlight would, would change and, and like turn into like a black lighter. At certain points, the flashlight would like start to flicker and go out. And so it was just very interesting. Like it told like a great story. So like, and you felt like you were doing it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't like, you felt like you were your own guide. So it was a very personal experience for each and every one of them. And I was in the front too, so that was even <laughs> scarier because I was like, I'm gonna run into everything. That sounds like literally my worst nightmare. <laughs> um, I was also really nervous about the paranormal one, but I heard that had really oh, cool yeah. effects into, in that one too. Yeah, and it starts. It started off with a really great like pre-show. So you go in, and then there's like a whole like setup and presentation, and there's a great scare with special effects right at the beginning. Um, and then you go and you wind up going through like a haunted asylum, and uh, and then it ends with a, a really great surprise ending that I don't want to tell people about because it, it blew our minds when we went through like all of us were like whoa this was awesome so I uh, yeah I definitely recommend checking that one out especially for the ending um, and trick-or-treat for the uh, the production value of it but they had a lot of great stories when you would go into the houses cool if you guys want to check out any of the houses here at not scary farm this year it's happening now in select nights through october 31st so come check it out maybe you'll be a little bit braver than i will maybe i'll try to come back maybe i should try you, yeah, again be brave. you can be yeah. brave you can be brave yeah maybe i'll try it again this it's season not, you I can still time. ride the rides yeah you can still ride so many rides you rode so many roller coasters and honestly those are pretty scary at night too so still had a blast MEI has a philosophy to really want to understand their clients, to understand truly what their needs are and what they're looking for. We have a level of service that is top notch and we really want to do everything we can to make sure you have the best vacation possible. MEI and Mouse Van Travel is your expert source for no fee travel planning. Visit MEI-travel.com for a no obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Legoland Florida Resort is getting in on the theme park craft beer game thanks to the opening of a new quick service location. The Dragon's Den now serves locally crafted beer and we sent Banks over to test it out and get a sneak peek at their Halloween event, Brick or Treat. Take it away Banks and bring us back some candy. All right, so we're here inside the Wells Fargo 40 Theater at Legoland, Florida, getting a look at their brand new Dragon's Den quick service area, as well as a preview of Brick or Treat. Now, we're inside because you might be able to tell on my shirt, it's Florida, it's raining, but that's no big deal. All the fun is still happening behind me. Let's go down and see what it's all about. <laughs> 
You've had beer at the water park in the hotel, but this is the first time you've brought it inside the main theme park itself. Why? What, what brought about this decision? Yeah, so we saw that beer was actually a guest demand. When you're out there with the family enjoying the nice hot sun and your kids are having a great time, why not immerse the children and uh, with the Lego and then we'll go ahead and immerse the parents with the beer. <laughs> it's one of those that, you know, the family is here to enjoy. They're on vacation and sometimes you just need that nice refreshing beer to, throughout the day. Is this the first Legoland Park in the world to do this or have other Legoland Parks had this before? No, we actually seen it's actually a really good success over in Legoland Billund. So we also have our peers over in Legoland California Resort that have done it and they've said it's such a success. So we said this is the time for us to do it and why not with Grove Roots who are our local brewery. Yeah, so why go with a local brewery to, to bring the beer into the park? Us with Merlin and also Legoland Resort, we really want to really control and be with those local breweries, mm -hmm. local businesses, just to support the local uh, the local brand. So we said, this is a perfect opportunity. They're right down the street from us, and we bring it into the park. And is this something that your the menu may change throughout the year? Absolutely. So we're starting off simple right now. We really are throwing this into the fall season, so we love the idea of bringing pumpkin. Mm -hmm. But we also do have two additional flavors that we can bring. But we want to start off small because we don't want to overpower the um, the team at the time. So yes, definitely many seasonal flavors to come. Now I grabbed a couple of the offerings that they have at the Dragon's Den. First is this what they call the Rind and Shine. Mm. Ooh, ooh, that's very smooth. I like that. It's great. And the other one here is a seasonal drink. It's a pumpkin flavored drink. Uh, you know, just in time for fall and a brick or treat coming up. What'd you build? Build a good one? Ooh. Mm. Yeah, you got the hint of pumpkin right in there. Perfect for this time of the year. All right, so we got brick or treat coming up here on October 6th, very, very soon. What's new for this year's event? New this year is a brand new character, Lego Spider Lady. So guests are going to be able to meet her for the very first time on the first weekend of Rig or Treat. And then also a new character meet and greet experience with Rockstar Frankenstein. So you'll have to check that out. It's going to be very interactive with music and Frankenstein's even going to have a guitar that he's playing. And speaking of characters, I noticed some in here from a brand new stage show that's going to debut. What's that stage show about? That is a brand new singing uh, show on the Lego City stage. So there's a lot of interaction and it's a pair of uh, curious trick-or-treaters are in for a very interesting night on the Lego City stage. So you'll have to come check it out. What can y'all tell me about what's going to happen during this show? Well, it's a new song and dance show on the Lego City stage where three mischievous kids go into the old City Hall building and get into quite a predicament. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what about y'all's favorite parts of the show? Mm, my favorite part would be our trick-or-treating song because I'm obsessed with candy and everybody has to have candy for Halloween, so I like that one. Of course, who are you? Um, my favorite is that there may or may not be pyrotechnics. Ooh. Ooh, it's yeah. not a theme park show without pyrotechnics, yeah. of course. Who are you? Yeah, I like when the witch puts a spell on us and there is, yeah, pyrotechnics. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, we do a really cool rendition of Abracadabra and it rocks my socks, so you have to come see that. Don't miss it. Now, in addition to all the new Brick or Treat offerings, what else can people do who may have never been to Brick or Treat before? So back and better than ever is our Brick or Treat trail, and that's got more candy than we've ever had before. So you're going to grab a bag and you're going to go through tons of houses and collect candy from our characters here. Of course, we have character meet and greet experiences and a lot of building activities and, of course, the new shows as well. And, of course, everyone's welcome to dress up, correct? Yes, costumes are encouraged. So come dress up and you might even get a Lego prize. All right, so that's it for our look at Dragon's Den. It's now open over in the Lego Kingdoms area. And then, of course, Brick or Treat Halloween event starts this weekend, runs every Saturday and Sunday throughout October. Of course, there's a lot more coming in the future. They've got their Christmas Spectacular coming up, as well as Lego Movie Worlds already under construction over there by the Old Chima area. So can't wait for next year. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. This week's birthday shout outs go out to Anthony Armenia, Julia Hall, Maria Hannon, and our own Expansion Drive podcaster, Didi Francic. Happy birthday, everyone. Need something cool to wear to the Haunt events in and around the theme parks this year? 
visit our official web store. There you can find shirts that support our original shows as well as classic theme park inspired designs. Head to attractionsmagazine.com slash store to check it out. We want to thank MEI, Mouse Fan, and Universal Fan Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Give Kids the World Village is a nonprofit resort that provides week long, cost free vacations to children with life threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how to get involved, visit gktw.org. Well, we have some exciting things coming up next. We've got Infinity Falls. I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. And we also have some haunted house videos from Warner Brothers Studio Tours, which I am really, really excited about that one because it's like they have the Arkham Asylum house and yeah. the Id house. So, so we got some Pennywise and some Joker coming up. We got a lot of clowns. Some scary stuff. It is the season, though, right? Mm -hmm. I do need to get over to SeaWorld. I gotta go to Spooktacular, mm -hmm. ride Infinity Falls. Exactly. So much. We gotta so go. Much. All the candy. Ooh. You're right. You're, you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. Wouldn't be a medieval type area without digging into a good old fashioned turkey leg. Meaty. <laughs>